They were once some of Mario's biggest rivals, stealing from the people or causing just plain chaos in the Mushroom Kingdom. But they would eventually find themselves in fame far away, starring in their own video game series, officially breaking off of Mario's fame. But which one of Mario's former rivals is the strongest? Wario, the anti-Mario, and Donkey Kong, the King of Kong. I'm one fish mob, and it's my job to see who would win in a fight. In all of fiction, the balance of good and evil are always checked and kept in balance. But for every yin, there is always a yang. And when it comes to Mario, his yang is the fat, smelly, ill-mannered, greedy, and funny rival, Wario. Although Wario is mostly known for his Wario Land and WarioWare games, as well as popping up in Mario spin-offs, Wario truly didn't get to be an iconic rival of Mario until he appeared in more modern Mario games and events like the sports games, Sonic Crossover, Dr. Mario, newer games, and Super Smash Bros. Just like Mario, he has many abilities. He is very athletic, he's good at baseball, basketball, kart racing, golf, volleyball, soccer, survived the death trap known as Mario Party, tennis, and more, and he can double jump up to 22.3 feet in the air. But unlike Mario, his durability is far superior to that of his counterpart. He can survive things that kill Mario instantly in his normal state. For example, he can survive getting crushed, falling into lava, getting shocked by electricity, and getting impaled by spikes. He can even survive swallowing explosives and have them blow up inside his stomach and recover from it with only slight damage. Wario has been confirmed many times as one of the strongest characters in the Mario universe. He's lifted up an 11 ton dinosaur and swung her around like she was nothing. Despite being a strong brute, he actually has a level of intelligence. Example. He was able to make a multi-dimensional teleporter in 5 seconds without any assistance. But in order to use these abilities, he incorporates them with his standard attacks. His dash attack is a shoulder charge which kills most enemies upon contact. Though larger enemies don't go down as easily. The ground pound is when Wario slams enemies with his buttocks. It's usually instant kills for enemies that get caught underneath it, and it can break certain objects. He can grab people with his hands or teeth and swing them around to throw them long distances. His most infamous attack is the Wario Waft, a powerful fart that can cause massive damage and launch him into the air, but that becomes stronger the longer he waits and lets it build up and his smaller farts knock enemies out temporarily. This can be added to his double jump to send him over 50 feet into the air. His most powerful physical attack is his chomp. He bites the opponent repeatedly or eats items to get health or other powers, but dangerous items like bombs will hurt Wario. And to get around quickly, he uses the Wario bike. Weighing over 550 pounds and reaching 114 miles per hour, Wario uses his bike mostly for ramming, but when he needs to let loose, he'll eat a garlic that grants him the power of the Wario Man. His Wario Man state is completely invincible. This state allows him to fly around at top speeds, turn the Wario aft into nuke farts, and allows Wario to lift up 1 million pounds. But like any other powered up state, it lasts a limited time. Mario has proven to be a great competitor against Mario. But how will Mario's former rival compete with him? Long before Bowser. Long before the Shrews. And before King Toad. Mario fought his ultimate rival, an escaped circus gorilla, named Donkey Kong. 
He defeated the gorilla but escaped and fled with his child, Donkey Kong Jr., to a remote island. Soon, the original Donkey Kong took the name Cranky Kong, and Jr. gave rise to a son destined to rule his island home under the traditional name, Donkey Kong. On his island home, Donkey Kong has been tasked with guarding the world's largest banana horde from other creatures on the island and its rival, King K. Rule. But in order to fight off these enemies, he has several abilities and weapons. His most notable feature is his tremendous strength and durability. One way he uses this strength is with his trademark Giant Punch. If it's fully charged, it unleashes a punch of significant power. And his Hand Slap, which can destroy flaming boulders and cause small-scale earthquakes that can alter the environment. His durability is insane as well. He survived a point-blank explosion and an explosion that launched him into orbit. But he doesn't enter combat without weapons. His coconut shooter can hold up to 20 homing coconuts, and his orange grenade's actual fruit turns into actual explosives. It can be used to blow his opponents to smithereens. But if he needs to put more pain on, he can use his final smash, the conga beat. Donkey Kong pounds on some bongos, creating normally small shockwaves that just barely covers DK that has the vacuum effect, making it harder for foes to escape. But DK can increase the power and range of the attack by clapping or striking the bongos, creating a forceful wave each time, creating a shockwave with a diameter a bit bigger than the final destination stage in Smash Brothers. During his final smash, DK is completely invincible. Unfortunately, DK is completely immobile for the duration of the final smash, and if it is used at the wrong place and at the wrong time, the other characters can easily dodge the whole attack just by standing far away. But if he needs a little boost, he can become the Strong Kong. This form makes him completely immune to damage and can walk on things such as quicksand and lava. But in this form, he uses a power source called Crystal Coconut. The longer Donkey Kong is in Strong Kong mode, the more Crystal Coconuts he will use up. If Donkey Kong runs out of Crystal Coconuts, he will lose his Strong Kong power. But even then, he has done many impressive things. He punched the giant walrus so high, he caused a small tsunami when he landed in the ocean. He can deadlift pirate ships out of the ground while standing on them, can tank point-blank cannonball fire, shatter flaming boulders by simply clapping his hands together, has survived atmospheric re-entry on at least two occasions, can devour several dozen bananas in three seconds flat, and greatly expanded his percussionist talents over the years and he's even once punched the moon out of orbit. But this does lead to many of his weaknesses. He is immensely stupid, just as lazy as he is unintelligent, motivated exclusively by bananas, and sometimes his loved ones. Should the hair on top of his body be cut, he will lose all his strength, and despite his extreme power, he's still susceptible to being kidnapped easily. Donkey Kong, either way, has become as big of a rival to Mario as he is today.
So why did Donkey Kong win? Both Wario and Donkey Kong have a significant durability factor, and Wario does hold the agility and intelligence advantage. And the Strong Kong could counteract the Wario Man. But it ultimately came down to one question. Who was stronger? If we were to use Cartoon Fight Club's estimate of Wario's max strength, he'd be able to lift up to 278,000 pounds in his normal state. But if we were to use Death Valley's estimate of max strength on Donkey Kong, we'd see that in order to move the moon, he'd have to be able to move 3,000 megatons of force. Or the max of 3 million tons. So even in the Wario Man state, Wario was still 2 megatons weaker than Donkey Kong. And even without those estimates made by those other two shows, both of their strength feats are completely different and one is obviously weaker. Wario was only strong enough to toss a dinosaur around, while Donkey Kong punched the moon out of orbit. In the end, Wario's agility and equipment just wasn't able to keep up with Donkey Kong who was just far stronger and just as durable. The winner is Donkey Kong.